Didn't Hello, you wear that shirt everyone, last and week? Welcome. <laughs> oh you were trying to stop the week. show. I might have. I don't remember. <laughs> you Jeez, did. Can't, can't a guy start the show without being harassed? Hi, everybody. Welcome to the weekly NFL picks presented by the world of football. We're off to a great start already. Randy goes one week being the best at picking games, and he thinks he can just interrupt and do whatever he wants. I'm your host, Adam Snow, and uh, joined as always with my brother Aaron and uh, Mr. Gloat himself, Randy, who was the best picker last week. Uh, yeah, pat yourself on the back. It might be the only time you get to do that this year. All right, guys. Crazy week last week in, in the NFL. I mean, seriously. We're still getting a feel for how this season is going to roll out. The The good teams look bad. The bad teams look good. It's been all over the map. But uh, we're going to quickly recap how everybody did last week. Uh, Dad, you were obviously at the top with a 10-6 and six record last week, going from worst to first, followed by Mr. Nosy Otter and Royce at 9-7. and seven. And then we had a bunch of people go 8-8. Eight and eight. So that would be Aaron, myself, Sea Dog, Cringe, Hawkeye 07, Kyle, and Leonard. And then at 7-9 and nine last week, B. Lewis, Dale, and Mr. Dolph. So, Dad, get it out of the way. How'd you do it? How did you go from worst <laughs> to first? I looked over the entire list, and all I can think of is I picked the Rams to beat the 49ers, and nobody else did. No, nobody else in our picker group picked the Rams but me, and that was the difference. That was number number 10 for me. Otherwise, I'd have been right there with everybody else. Well. Good for you. I'll, I'll give you your applause. I mean, we dogged you last week, but I guess we get to give you compliments for being top dog, at least for this week. <laughs> but in terms of the overall standings, though, guys, it's a different story because our top dog isn't a dog. It's a Mr. Nosy Otter with a 29-19 and 19 record overall through three weeks, followed by yours truly, Mr. Dolph Leonard and Hawkeye 07, as well as Royce. We're all 28-20 and 20 on the season. Then at 27 and 21, you had B. Lewis and Kyle. Then Aaron and C. Dog at 26 and 22. Randy, you're sitting there at 25 and 23. And uh, Dale and Cringe are both 18 and 14 on the season. So, Mr. Nosy Otter, congratulations, Mr. Top Picker, this uh, for so far this season. But uh, quite a few people up there at the top. Just one game is going to change it. So. Uh, should we get into this week's games and see if we can uh, improve our records going forward? Dad, you got to start with that disclaimer, though. Yes. Uh, if you plan to use our predictions as a means to justify your own gambling bets, then you, my friend, are an idiot. We don't know what we're talking about, and you should never listen to us for gambling advice. This is for entertainment purposes only. I think it's also ironic that he uh, was the best picker that week when he didn't mess up his little spiel at the beginning. So that could be that could be a factor. Aaron, you've been awfully quiet. How you doing? Didn't you wear that shirt last week? Gosh dang it. We're gonna just keep talking. About it. Let's just get to the picks. Dad, go ahead. <laughs> oh, you want me to just uh, fine, I can do that. Uh can I turn off your camera? That that shirt's bothering me. Oh uh, let's uh, see. Starting with the Thursday night game. We got the Cowboys at the Giants. Call me crazy, but I'm taking the Giants at home over the Cowboys. Crazy. <laughs> Uh, there are like seven games this week that I, I really had to struggle with because it, it could go either way. It's a total uh, toss-up. And the second game is one of them. New Orleans at Atlanta. I'm taking the Saints. but That was, that was a tough pick. The Bengals at the Panthers. I'm taking the Bengals. The Rams at the Bears. Give me the Rams. Uh, let's see. Vikings at Green Bay. I'm taking the Packers at home. Jaguars at the Texans. I got the Texans. Pittsburgh at Indianapolis. Um, give me the Steelers. Uh, Denver at the Jets. I'll take the Jets at home. Philadelphia at Tampa Bay. Give me the Bucks at home there. That's un that's another tough one. I, I really struggled with that one. Uh, Washington Commanders at the Arizona Cardinals. Give me the Cardinals at home. Uh, I don't know. Uh, call me crazy on that one, too. New England Patriots at the San Francisco 49ers. I'll take the 49ers. The Chiefs at the Chargers. Give me the Chiefs. Browns at the Raiders. Um, a a toss-up here, but I'm going to go Raiders. Bills at the Ravens. Taking the Bills. Uh, Tennessee at Miami. Give me the Titans in that one. 
and uh, Seahawks and Lions. Who do you think I'm picking? That's right. I'm picking the Lions. Wow. Well, week three or week four, we got a prop already. Yeah, now you know it's a bad <laughs> week for him. Oh boy, yeah, it's gonna go right down the from there. So, yeah, we saw your dumb pumpkin. <laughs> All right, Aaron, you're the next one up. What do you got? Um, I well, hate to say it after I just said he's gonna have a bad week with the prop, but I feel like. All the picks we almost agreed on. I'm taking the Cowboys <laughs> on Thursday night. Give me the Jets. Give me the Packers. I did have Falcons wrote down, but I'm going to end up going with the Saints in that one. Don't know what I was thinking. So Saints over the Falcons. Give me Tampa Bay to beat the Eagles. Um, Houston, Pittsburgh, picking Carolina to beat the Bengals. Um, Andy Dalton revenge game. Rams to take the win. Cardinals will beat the Commanders. 49ers. The Raiders, the Chiefs, the Ravens to upset the three no Bills, the Titans to get their first win, and then the Detroit Lions to end the undefeated season for the Seattle Seahawks in those gorgeous black uniforms. <laughs> wow, uh, I have a bad feeling that I'm going to disagree with you both on a lot of these, um, especially the black uniforms. I'm still not totally crazy about them yet. I still like my Honolulu Blues. But I'm sure I'll get used to it. I still got to get the mini helmet of the of the new uh, Motor City uniforms. So no more stalling. Let's get through my picks, guys. Thursday night, I'm taking the Giants to upset the Cowboys. Then I'm taking the Falcons to take care of the Saints. Give me the Panthers to get another win in the win column against the Bengals. The Bengals have just been struggling. Give me the Rams to beat the Bears. Give me the Vikings to beat the Packers. I'm going to take the Texans to get a win over the Jags. Give me the Steelers over the Colts. Give me the Jets over the Broncos. And then I'm going to take the Eagles over the Bucks, Cardinals over the Commanders, Niners over the Patriots. Going to take the Chiefs over the Chargers. Give me the Browns over the Raiders. Going to take the Bills over the Ravens. And then we had a Monday night doubleheader. I don't think either of you guys mentioned that. It's a doubleheader on Monday night again. In that first game, uh, I'm going to take the Titans to get a win over the Dolphins. And then I'm going to pick the Detroit Lions to finally get a win over the Seattle Seahawks. Because it has been a while, and they have just been the bugaboo for the Lions the last several years. And uh, it's probably going to be a high-scoring game. They, whenever these two teams have played the last few years, it is a high-scoring affair. Something crazy always happens, so I'm looking forward to that. Not those black uniforms, though. You get all that, Randy? You you, you and your old uh, pen and paper? Yeah. I, I, I wrote them all down, but Aaron had them in a different order, so I, he I always can't really does. say... Like, I, yeah, I can't really toes. say how many we got. You'll have to fix that in post. It's I fixed just, in post. <laughs> I just go down by what the ESPN app says, so that's why I do it that way. Well, that's your problem. Uh, yeah. You're not reading Randy's spreadsheet he sends out every day. He meticulous, <laughs> meticulously puts that together for us. Uh, also, I go by what's on the uh, uh, NFL.com website. That, that's the order they got him in. So. The only other problem is, I, I think, Aaron, you might have those in the mails because, you know, he prints them off, so you're probably still going to get yours in the mail by Friday, uh-huh. so... <laughs> all right that's our picks for this week yeah the graphic was on the screen with how we did or how, if we had any uh full sweeps this week doesn't feel like we had a lot i feel like we were all over the place this week i i know of four right now though that's that's all i could come up with right off the you know okay. real quick so well sorry to put you on the spot hey i tried but aaron messed me up it's all his fault oh wow way to throw <laughs> your son under the bus and with that everybody <laughs> We're going to wrap up this week's show. Remember to leave your picks down in the comments below. Let us know who you think is going to win these games this week. And uh, what do you think of this shirt, guys? I don't think it's, it's as bad as Randy and Aaron are making it out to be. All right? I, I don't know what their problem is. It's just a nice, typical tie-dye. My girlfriend designed the logo. Uh, and there's a bigger one on the back, which I'd show you. But it's okay. we got to wrap this show up. Anything else, boys, before we call it a show? Uh, try and do some laundry before next week's show, okay? I do laundry every week. I can't help it. I just I just pick a shirt and I wear it. All right. I don't accessorize like you do for these shows. Hey, I pick out a nice different shirt every week. He's already got a shirt picked out for next week. Well, you guys know what you need to really Maybe. do. Go to the, go to the link down below in this video. Buy you guys a a world of football shirt or a hat or a sweatshirt. You know, help us out, guys. Uh, or coffee mug. Yeah, for coffee mug. There you go. Stickers. What have you? All right, guys. That's it for this week. We're going to wrap it up. Thanks for picking. Thanks for watching us. 
and uh, go Lions. Go Lions.